What's up guys and welcome back to my channel. So this week I had a bit of a different video for you guys. I've done a few hauls and reviews in the past, but I was sitting here thinking like, what is the next step? We've been shopping, we found the items, now what do we do? You guys have probably heard me say, I don't want to be a part of the over-consuming conversation. I want to hopefully just challenge you guys to look in your closet, to elevate your style, find the items that work for you. So this week I want to talk about elevation of style and how to look, I'm going to say more expensive than you probably have to. For instance, right now I'm wearing this Mugler top from H&M, which is easy to look expensive in because Mugler and that H&M um, collaboration was a carbon copy of pretty much what he sells on his site, right? And then I have it paired with this velour rainbow dress which I sp spoke about I think in at least two videos this dress was probably $16 but you wouldn't know it by just looking at it right because I'm trying to elevate the style and um, this is a great I think holiday option as well and I wanted to just talk about like how can we do that in our everyday wardrobe and I have five tips to get into that now let me first say that um Skinny jeans are a prime example of something being in style and in in trend and just something that's just classic, right? We all know skinny jeans are not the trend right now, but if you were going to wear a pair of riding boots and a blazer, you're going to you're going to need a pair of skinny boots, skinny jeans, right? And Although it's not 2016 anymore where you wear your ripped up skinny jeans with your Louboutin pumps and your blazer, it doesn't mean that the style itself isn't classic, right? So aesthetics never go out of style. For instance, if you are boho chic, if you are preppy, that aesthetic never goes out of style. What goes out of style are just like items. And I wouldn't say out of style, I would say out of trend, right? Everyone's mad at the quiet luxury girls. I don't really get it because I think that fashion is expressive. It has to move. I think that everything has a time and a place. If I'm being honest, I don't really get the uproar. If that's the thing right now, that's the thing right now. At some point, you know, back two, three years ago, logo mania was just crazy. If it had logos on it, it was, you know, the price went through the roof. Um, but maybe we're over the Gucci tracksuits, okay? They had a moment in time. It doesn't mean that they're not still classic. They're just not the trendy thing anymore. So minimalism and quiet luxury kind of became a thing. And sometimes the lines get crossed again. So in terms of elevation, the first thing will be undergarments. I don't care if you have it off the one runway dress from Roberto Cavalli. If you don't have the proper undergarments on, it's going to just fall flat, okay? That is your bra, that is your underwear, and that is your shapewear, okay? I am not huge on shapewear. I do think it's needed. I'm 41, so I do think, you know, you need a little tuck and pull here and there. Um, we know Spanx is a really great brand, but honestly... Assets by Target have me in a complete chokehold. When I say absolutely amazing, I have three shapewear pieces that are my go-to hands down, okay? So if you're like me and you, I don't want, just like with makeup, I don't want to transform my body and have this false sense of a flat stomach and flat back and a big butt because of my shapewear. And then when that comes off, I'm a shell of a person. I feel that same way with makeup. I don't want to overdo it so that when you see me in person or I have to meet myself in the mirror without my makeup on, I feel less than, right? You guys probably remember, maybe your moms or your aunts, it was a shapewear piece called Body Magic. I'm a church girl. I remember the women coming to church looking like wrestlers, okay? They were, they all looked like this. They were all like stuffed in, everything was packed into, and what it did was it, it, it made you squeeze in here, but it pushed everything up to the top, right? So these three pieces are my favorite. The first one is my go-to, hands down. If I'm not wearing a strappy outfit, this is what I have on. This is the short set, I the short um, shapewear. Absolutely 10 out of 10, man, you feek, okay? Love this. I've worn it under leggings. I've worn it under thin maxis. If you have the um, Skims maxi dress, you already know. That dress is amazing, but it, it if you have on, like, if you have cellulite or whatever, it's going to show that. This short set, most shorts, I feel like in shape where it cuts you off at the thigh, this does not. I've worn it with leggings, pants, um, dresses, with maxi dresses, thin, thick, it doesn't matter. I cannot explain it. It is absolutely the best. One of the things I love about it as well is the bra area is cut out. I want to wear the bra that I want to wear. Some dresses call for a balconette. Some call for a demi cut. Some call for a um, a, a full push-up push bra, right? 
I can't do that if you're forcing me into a certain bra type for my shapewear. So that to me was like well thought out by assets. And again, it's affordable because Spanx is not terribly expensive, but assets is a little bit cheaper. So I think this shapewear is about $36. My next one is almost similar to that. It's more of a leotard. Well, not really a leotard. I would say more like a one-piece swimsuit situation. I love this too. Both of these shapewears kind of like gather your butt. And if you look, listen, I'm 41. There's always issues with the butt kind of falling a little bit or whatever. These two pieces are going to help pull you together in the back area and smooth you out. I love this, this particular piece, like with jeans, um, Again, you have the cutout boob area, but it, they both have straps. So if you're wearing a strappy dress or a strapless dress, I usually go for the underwear here. And it's just when your fupa is doing a little bit too much jiggling and you need to wear a dress and you want something to kind of give you that little extra hold in the tummy area, I love it. So these are my three pieces. But when it comes to your clothing, shapewear, a good bra and good panties are going to go a long way and it's going to make or break your outfit. I don't care. So in this next part, we're going to talk about aesthetic, right? And everyone has an aesthetic that works for them. And I feel like if you just go ahead and just lean into your aesthetic, you will f easily find your confidence and you'll find your pieces that work for you. What I mean by that is some folks are boho chic, some are classic style, some are preppy, some are uh, minimalist, tomboy. If you know that's your aesthetic, just go ahead and lean into that. So I'm going to look at some pictures and show you guys here and explain them. So in this first picture, this is a boho chic girl. Like, who, this is, but, but here's the thing. It's boho chic, but it's also like classic style as well. Look at the blazer. Look at the, the faux leather pants or leather pants. She has on, I think, Dylan Lux uh, jewelry. Dylan Lux to me is a prime example of crossing the line. Boho chic mixed with it's not saying a preppy girl or a minimalist girl can't wear it, right? Um, but it just looks good on the boho chic girls, right? So this is a very, um, I would say, a mixed look. The next one is, again, the just the classic, like, hobo style. Um, Dylan Lux jewelry, I think, again. Faux leather pants, an oversized shirt that's gold or silver. It's really going to make you look a little bit more elevated. And then this girl here, I think, is a example of like rocker mixed with boho chic right she's still boho but then she has this rocker vibe about her so the lines can get crossed sometimes and still be amazing and then finally i mean this what i find is like the classic boho chic style but it's almost mixed with a little bit of ralph Lauren if you think about it right it looks very western but yet boho chic up next we have like the preppy style now this is uh rebecca uh, sorry victoria beckham and Preppy style is the Argyle sweater. It is the white button-up collar shirt, right? And you just look like a little schoolgirl most of the time, but it has that preppy aesthetic. Your parents probably own a yacht. Like, if that's your aesthetic, it's not. And then in the last video, this is a runway picture, I believe, from Christian Dior. This is classic preppy style, right? A plaid blazer, a, uh, a gingham style uh, blazer with shorts, knee-high socks. It's just classic, right? Next, I have the All-American Girl. I feel like this is your classic Ralph Lauren, uh, Michael Kors girl button-up, jeans. And again, we talked about with the trends versus, you know, being in style. If you are this girl, right, the Ralph Lauren classic chic girl, you probably wore skinny jeans back in 2016. All you're doing is taking that same style and now you're adding straight leg jeans. You're adding... And lastly, I think this is probably the most up-to-date. She has on a sweater, the faux leather trousers, the long coat, classic style. Absolutely stunning. Beautiful, easy, simple, chic. She has on Gucci loafers. If you have a pair, certain things that you can wear, Gucci loafers had a moment. They will never go out of style. They're just not trendy right now. I have a pair of Gucci um, Prince Towns mules. I'm never getting rid of those. They will always be classic. We all know that the, um, the, the Prince Towns had a moment, okay? Up next, we're going to do Tomboy. And I feel like Tomboy can only be given sort of like the baggy style. But I think there's more elements to that. And I think of Aaliyah when I think of Tomboy. Like, she always wore these fitted tops, but like with these really, you know, boy style jeans with boxers. That's, it, for me, I remember thinking like, I don't like Tomboy style. But when I seen Aaliyah, I was like, oh, that's a little different, right? She has her long, swoopy hair. She has on her oversized jeans, right? Then so this, lastly, this this lady here, I think this is like chic tomboy, right? You have on the velour track jacket. It's a little oversized with your wide leg, you know, trousers on your hand in your pocket. This is like, I feel like a little elevated tomboy. 
So now that we've talked about like aesthetic, to make these things come together, you have your undergarments, you have your aesthetic. Now, what's going to elevate your outfit to make it look rich, to make it look more put together? I will tell you, a dead giveaway is cheap shoes and cheap bags. Cheap accessories will always give your outfit away. The funny thing is I think when folks look at you, we think they see our outfits first. I would say there's probably a 50% chance there, right? I think most people look at shoes and accessories. That's my opinion. Could be wrong, but that's my opinion. Um, if you ha We've all seen the lady with the really cute outfit on. She walks past you and she has the red Ross or TJ Maxx sticker still on the bottom of her shoe. And it's like, girl, what were you doing? Or you see someone with a pair of really cheap, I'm not sure if you guys have one in your area, like a Goussini, where like super, super cheap shoes, plastic heels. And when I'm saying by plastic, like not PVC, more like it's supposed to be a leather pump, but it looks and feels like plastic. That's going to be a dead giveaway. Your heel is leaning over. It's not quite holding you up well. And listen, accessories don't have to be from Dior and Fendi, right? You can get really classic good shoes from uh, Steve Madden, from Nine West inside Macy's. Um, Vince Camuto has great shoes. Um, Sam Edelman, great classic pumps, right? That are not going to cost, they're going to cost you maybe $109, but they're going to elevate it just a little bit more, right? Uh, Shoots has really great shoes. You find them on sale in, at a really good price. That's going to elevate your style. And if you can't afford, if you can't afford a name brand bag, and here's the thing, those pieces are very expensive, but then get you a nice, good leather bag. It could be from a department store. It can be from a TJ Maxx or a Ross. Just get you a good leather bag. It's going to make all the difference in your outfit. And those are your first investment pieces. We all can't afford expensive ready-to-wear, which is the point of this video. I have on a $70 outfit right now, but with the right shoes and bags, no one would know where this came from. That's the point. But I take this $70 outfit and I cheapen it up with a plastic shoe with a horrible, cheaply made purse that's falling apart. You're not going to pay attention to like, huh, I think it's a Mugler top that she has on. You know, you don't know either way. If this is from H&M, is it from Mugler? You don't know. But once you see my accessory pieces, you'll piece it together and say, hmm, I don't think that's what it is. Right. So now we have our undergarments. We have our um, aesthetic. And I'm looking at the screen, guys, so I remember what to say. We have our accessories. It's going to come down to styling and tailoring of your clothes. You can't just decide to pull pieces out of your closet and put them on. You have to style your clothing. People don't hire a stylist to say, wear this jean with this top. It's a whole package, right? Maybe this outfit requires you to wear updo with a red lip and to pull the arms up on both sides and tuck the front of the shirt in. Maybe it costs you to button the shirt all the way to the top and add a brooch here or button it down three buttons, put a great, you know, necklace on and pop the collar. Styling is going to make all the difference in your outfit. And I think that's the key element that a lot of folks are missing that you can buy everything that everyone's showing you here online. If you don't know how to piece them together and how to style yourself, you won't, you won't ever get that elevated look. So... If you want to just go beyond just like putting pieces together, you're going to need that. Now, tailoring is a funny thing. It's an expensive thing, too. I'm anywhere between a 10 and a 14 any given part of the year, okay? Um, I know my body. I know that if, for instance, Thanksgiving is coming up, my weight's going to show up from Thanksgiving probably the first week in December. That's just how my body works. I will not see the day after, two days after. It's going to take about seven to ten business days to show up and show up, right? However, if I get in front of it, for the last couple of years, I've had Thanksgiving. I'm usually done with Thanksgiving food that day, and I go right to the gym or right into running to kind of get that off of my body so I can kind of maintain where I am. If I sit in it and I eat Thanksgiving leftovers for three days, I eat pies and cakes for three days, I'm going to be fine that first week. But baby, let me tell you, that next week, I won't fit anything in my closet, okay? So it takes a week to kind of like show up. And if I do right, it can take a week to come off. So I will have to spend a whole next week working out, eating right, and I'll finally see that weight kind of come down. I'm back into my clothes comfortably. So know your body because tailoring can be expensive. Um, and I'm learning to like buy my clothes one size up. And it makes all the difference when it's tailored to you. 
The problem is when your weight fluctuates, that can get very expensive because once you take it in, you can't really take it out, okay? I think one of the easiest things to do online is to find someone who looks like you, who is shaped like you, and if you like their style, it will help you build yours. Um, this is why I tell everyone, if you want to be online, it's not the easiest thing to do, but there is somebody out there that's waiting for you. There's someone who's like, she looks like me, she walks like me, she has the same style as me, you know, we're shaped the same. I can believe in what she's telling me to buy because we have the same body type, right? Follow those people. If you are a size, if you're my size and everyone you follow is a size two, that's great. They can show you really great items. But the style may be a little bit off, right? That's just how, the way it is. And I follow people from all walks of life, but I also am very confident in my style. I know my style aesthetic. I know what works for me. So I can look at the item and go, yeah, that's cute on her, but the way my butt is, is not going to work. Also, knowing your body, right? It's not the easiest thing. We all have flaws. Um, I have this, I'm not sure you can tell this video. I have this hump here, which is not, I've hated it my whole life. Um, I've learned to just love it. But I think the Lord was going to give me this really, bodacious behind and he knew with these freckles on that butt I would not be humble and he wasn't wrong he wasn't I love a cardigan I cannot wear cardigans to save my life but I had to realize my flaw I have droopy shoulders when I was a teenager I didn't understand why my bra straps never stayed up on my shoulder I would constantly fix them no matter how much I adjusted them in the back but my shoulders droop so for me, I have to wear a structured shoulder. Having on a shoulder that sits up looks better on me, but that may not be your problem. You may have wide shoulders, high shoulders. So if you then put on a structured blazer like the one I showed you guys in the last video, the um, Express one that has a lot of padding in the shoulder, you're going to look like a football player. But for me, it just almost evens me out and it works for me. So you have to know your flaws in your body and how things are going to fit to understand like what to buy for your body and your body type. So now we have the undergarments. Now we have the aesthetic. Now we know what accessories to buy. We've been styled and we're tailored, right? The last piece is going to be confidence. I can't tell you the amount of times I have. We've all done it. You pick an outfit out, you try it on a week prior, you look amazing, but you had a rough week and you drank a lot of Pepsis, you had some ribs, you had some potato salad, and now what used to look amazing looks horrible or the outfit just doesn't hit. I can't explain it. We've all been through it and it's too late to change it and you just have to wear it. Confidence will win every single time. I don't care what aesthetic you're in. If you walk in a room like you own it, I can't tell you the amount of times that I won the outfit, I didn't like it, and that's the outfit that for everyone else in the room hits. And in my mind, I'm going, you think it hits because I'm holding my head up high and I'm walking with confidence, but I hate it. I absolutely hate it. So confidence will get you every single time. I hope this video helped you guys out. Again, we don't want to overpurchase. We don't want to buy every single thing. We want to buy what's for us. And I hope this helps you elevate your style and find your style aesthetic. So I'll see you guys next week.